about to check out this video from Young Ripper that you guys sent me. The name of the video is called Yes, They're After Your Kids. Hey, yo. Um, Iron Heart Star admits it. That's crazy. That's insane. I'm assuming he's talking about the, is it supposed to be like a new TV show? But Iron Heart from the MCU? I got to hear this and see if, if that's really what they said. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, though. Make sure you guys check out the original video because I will be pausing and interrupting during this one. But go check out Young Ripper. You should check him out anyway. You know, you kind of just imagining things. They aren't yeah. trying to push any sort of agenda. And, you know, remember back in the gap, it was slippery slope. That was a fallacy. That wasn't anything that was actually going to happen. It was just a fallacy. Uh, you're being uh, dramatic. Definitely those over overly religious people who would talk about the dangers and and what don't seem like it's dramatic now. Dude. That slippery slope would lead sound and real as hell. Are. All of the things that they said were would not come true seems to be the case. Now, there was a story that I missed. I actually saw it, but I didn't get didn't get a chance to talk about it. And I don't know if you guys know, but there is a trans star. They did launch. Or uh, announced this. Excuse me. Uh, part of the Iron Heart series. Wait, what? Is it? Did they show the person's face? Wait, what? And like on some like orange is new black type of stuff, or or like uh, Elliot Page. <laughs> I don't rock with Elliot Page. I like Ellen Page. Ellen Page has some good movies. I'm I'm not really a fan of. Elliot Page is acting. Yeah, that's dead on arrival. Uh, it was always dead on arrival. It's a terrible character in the first place. And talking about Riri, Iron Heart is trash. They gave her that Riri Williams. But this uh, um, trans uh, it says this is Zoe Tar Tarakis. I don't know Tarakis. I don't know how to say her name. But they identify as non-binary. Who is this person? Who, is this the person from the OA? Hold on, while he's talking, I'm gonna look their name up. Tarakas. Oh, it, uh, just that name sounds familiar. And trans masculine. Don't know what that and they use they them pronouns. Not sure exactly what that means, but this is a person that will be somehow starring in the uh upcoming Ironheart series. I forgot the last name already. I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> to, to rock, to, 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 okay. But there was something after they spoke to Collider that I specifically want to focus on. And what it does is it highlights that there is a, certainly an agenda. Uh, Hollywood certainly in on familiar. it. And it what is they, targeting uh, your kids. Um, that is not sort of being dramatic. That is not like oh, tongue in cheek. That's where they from. I definitely know this actress or actor, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Okay. Wentworth, hundred percent, hundred percent was on Wentworth. Damn, I feel like I didn't watch that in like a year. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were, I think, transgender on Wentworth as well. They put that into the storyline. Wentworth is a a female prison TV show. Okay, Geek, that is got that. no. That's exactly what it is they're doing and they say the quiet parts out loud because you're not going to do anything about it not disney we already know people in chat asking who's iron heart exactly it's the replacement iron man um in the comic book eventually <sighs> they come out with like a black female iron man that calls themselves iron heart if if you saw the last wakanda movie they was in it it was trash but if you saw it, I saw it, forgot most of it. It was that trash, bro. Why was all the men weak? Why were all the black men weak? They made it a point to show you that the, the women were the ones not only in charge, but with the most strength. Dumbass, I hate that movie. I hate it. That made me like start questioning the first one. I used to like the first one a little bit. Now I'm like side eyeing the first one. Like, did I miss something? Oh, they're at what with this. I mean, we, we saw the whole reimagined, uh, whatever they called that little press conference, all hands on deck, and they were just flat out telling you what the agenda was. Yeah, some of you continue to support no, his. Right. But this is what they said. Uh, Zoe said, talking to Collider. And I think this is a picture of this star there. 
I think as trans people growing up, I didn't get to see myself anywhere. So I didn't really know that I existed. Wait, but if you're, you're trans and you trans musicians into whatever the hell you thought you were, wouldn't that mean that you did see yourself because you are what you thought you were? You see how this don't make no damn sense? They just talking out their ass now at this point. That's crazy. If you if you believe that you are what you say you are, that means you did see yourself on TV because you are what you say you are. Never mind. And especially mind. not in superhero or in a superhero show or movie. And so I think I just feel deeply grateful and moved. And this is the part that I'm going to take issue with. This is what they said. I think I just feel deeply grateful and moved that little trans kids and trans teens have something to look at and to know they exist, to know that they can have superpowers and that that's where we belong. Bitch, they can't have superpowers, though. My bad. I wasn't. Garfield came out for a second, right? Let's put him back in a cage. Let's put him. Let's let's respond to this in a reasonable way. No, they exist. And to know that they can have superpowers. But, but they can't, though. But they actually can't. You're going to have people thinking they can fly, like in the beginning of kick ass, and it's not going to go well, fam. That they, they don't have superpowers. They are regular human beings. And unless you're trying, you're trying to be Batman, right? Have super willpower or something. I'm going to repeat like, that one more time before I go crazy. in. And yeah, they're going after your kids. This person said, and so I think I just feel deeply grateful and moved that little trans kids and trans teens have something to look at. People are stupid. And we, to know that they exist. Different. And to know. Listen, we, we're in a different time now, man. We're in a different time. That is crazy. They're, they're blatantly saying, I want kids to know that reality doesn't exist. And that you should just enter the matrix and whatever fantasies you have, it's going to be terrifying. When I'm an old man, if I survive, right, if I make it um, through and I survive, walking to the corner store is going to be terrifying. We're going to have all types of dragons and bats and lizard people and flying monkeys. And there's going to be regular people that wanted to genetically alter themselves and turn themselves into these things. Because they didn't see it on TV. They didn't feel represented by all the monkey wing people. Even though they ain't had no damn monkey wings. Growing up. But hey. Superpowers exist. You know. You, you could get powers. I, I would love to be Wolverine. I would love it without the memory loss aspect. I would love. Uh, to, to have that power. Oh, so that they can have superpowers. But I'm and a that's, normal person. That, that's where well, we belong. Normal, but okay. I'm a human. First and foremost, there's no such thing as a trans kid. That doesn't exist. It's not a thing. <laughs> there are people that it take an exist. impressionable <laughs> <laughs> facts. It's straight to the point, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cold blooded, but it's real. It's cold blooded, but it's real. Like, what the hell are you talking about? People just be <laughs> just making stuff up. I told you guys now I identify as Batman, right? I told you that. That's my pronoun. You, you address me as Batman. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, if you nasty. Only if you nasty. You call me Mr. Wayne. Uh, uh, pop part of the population, and that is young people, kids especially, and be it coming from their parents, be it coming from those public schools, uh, indoctrination camps that for whatever reason some of y'all are still dropping your not head kids off at, and they can pick up you're on these head. things, right? That is 
let's say insane. Let's just call it what it is. It's insane. That you would even remotely suggest, I don't give a damn as an adult where you're at on the issue. I might think you're the goofiest person in the world for just thinking that there's something inherently wrong with how God made you. Okay. I might think that's weird. I do think that's weird. I'll be very clear. However, I'm right, you should be more like practicing or teaching these kids to be proud of who they are, who they actually are. Right. And there could be many benefits to that. No, nah, let's teach them that they, they can, they can turn into professor X and just be sitting there and controlling. Go ahead and do that. If you want to go ahead and do that. If you want to, and this little vein right here, right here, pop out. Libertarian right. as an adult, you have the absolute right to do whatever you want to do to yourself. I might not agree with, yeah, let's say, around you. the implication. I might not. Depending. I ain't, I ain't going to be around a dragon person. Hit that like button if you haven't, guys. Hit the like button. And if you're on Twitch, hit whatever button. I don't know what's on there. If you're on Rumble, hit the Rumble button if you can. Man. Hit the Rumble button. Let's say pat you let people know that you're on the back. I might not be jiggling and gyrating with you at a um, parade, but I accept and agree that you have the right to do whatever you want. However, kids are off limits. They cannot consent. They're kids. Thanks. And you are. If you are going to insist that they are trans and can be trans, you are insisting that they can be or have, let's say, bodily harm. I'm telling you, when it becomes, when they start being able to just like alter the DNA and all that, these kids going to be wilding, boy. They're going to be wilding. They're going to be straight tripping. Let's just call it what it is done to them that is often irreversible. And that they are, they have the capacity to make such a decision at a young age. But my issue is, is that when Hollywood fools sit up here and just, just talk about this freely, you have folks that gaslight you acting like there's no agenda there. No, nah, that's clear as day. She just flat out. Yeah, it's clear as day. The agenda's there, right? Anyone who says that there's not, they're just pretending at this point. There's been a plethora of them that, and by them, I mean like people in Hollywood um, or executives and things of that nature, a plethora of them ha that have come out and blatantly said, oh, we going after your children. This is what we want. We want to go after your kids. Told you, she wants these people to know that they're a thing. This is a vehicle for her. Often it is for a lot of people for various topics. Let's call it that. This is why the left loves entertainment so much. I've been trying to, I've been ringing a bell for, uh, I'm, I'm a relatively young guy, make no mistake, <laughs> but for over a decade, I have been talking about this. It's been happening for a while, bro. I'm telling you, I got video essays I'm working on right now about this exact thing. I'll go into detail and tell you specific shows and TV and all that stuff that does this. Right. And, and, and how, like, with the art... I had a little boy in a dress in a cartoon, bro. <sighs> had to turn into a girl to become a superhero. This is gross. With the entertainment, this is where the battle is fought. And the reason why, despite them being as dumb as they might be, why they are so impactful, why they continue, despite, despite being so stupid, they continue to gain influence, is because... They push for this nonsense in mediums when they don't have to have the brightest ideas, right? They go after, uh, they went after. Right. People would be like, oh, if it's woke, if it's woke, then we'll support it. We'll just go with it. Long control now, your education. This is what insane. people deem as legitimate education and you paying for it, right? Through your tax dollars. And you still dropping them off there. We'll talk about that in another video. We already have. That's insane. But that's your choice. If you feel like school system is the appropriate place for, for your kids, 
with all that's going on or this is all you can do at the time because i know it's like expensive to maybe get a a different schooling or to maybe um you just don't have the time to be able to watch your kids do homeschooling and things of that nature they go for the entertainment that they consume I your kid cannot you a, get from a credit in your time beyond that screen that they're on in fact when you want them to shut up that's what you do you you, you slide them something right and they sitting here consuming all this they will oh, know nastiness word man i got a little baby cousin now take your phone out your pocket pull up youtube and just find whatever she she needed to find she knew how to get to it i'm like you could read nah she just know what letters to put in to get her favorite content created i'm like wow thank goodness she be watching it's some little girl channel where they don't really do nothing harmful i ran through it little girl be doing like music videos and just like little girl vlogs where she's just talking about little girl things like toys and tv shows i was like okay this don't look like there's nothing crazy right i'm gonna keep checking i'm gonna keep checking but the fact that you were able to pull that up is insane like you just had to memorize these kids are too smart not their favorite artists actors all of that stuff what their views are and it ain't what you think as a parent that let's say cares about uh, uh liberty or you care about just common universal that should be universal truths no. that's how they win and they gaslight you when you're like look man it looks like y'all trying to do this and they'll say man you crazy as hell yeah, they ain't never they ain't come over your kids bro you being crazy and here we are it's crazy this fool just sat up no they're crazy or they're just ignoring it on purpose they're straight up and now the term trans kids i don't care how much lack i get it's not a thing bro that yeah. is not a thing that is something nah. that adults are pushing on these kids or allowing it to manifest pushing them to do stuff with it be trans kids that's ridiculous bro let them be kids and then when they become adults and they want to do whatever okay cool but let them be kids bro blockers and all this stuff that's coming from an adult dude right right it's a real thing and it's happening and to the people that know it's going down you're not crazy right bam shout out to young ripper killed that yeah that actor actress whatever bugging blankly told you we're going after your kids like you said no such thing as trans kids, but whatever. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Real talk. This is, is 